Wow, a couple of people really blew me away tonight. I can't wait to find out who that fourth person is going to be. Hey guys, and welcome back to Kelly TV. So we started off learning who our three saved finalists were, and it was a little bit shocking. The very first person was Chris, and I feel like he kind of totally stole the spotlight from Damien because of last night. I mean, both of his songs were amazing. He's like my new boyfriend now. <laughs> um, whatever. I can't, I can't keep talking about him because it will take up like the whole video. So anyway, um, you know, he's come a long way in a short period of time. Then we had Craig. Not going to be surprised by that news at all because he's probably going to win. I still see him as the winner. And then Matt. So I'm feeling kind of bad for Damien, but that second song he did last night was just, I think it killed him and... I do feel bad for him, but I think he's out of the competition. Like, I don't think he's coming back. So, sadly, they did not tell us who is in the fourth spot, which I thought would happen. But you have to watch the Today Show. So I'm not going to watch the show. I'll probably just look on social media. But, of course, I'm dying to know who's going to make it into that fourth spot. And I will tell you in a little bit who I think should make it. So the first wild card singer was Reagan. And I'm like, are you serious? She's the only person out of all the people trying for that fourth spot who sang a repeat song. Not only was it a repeat song, it was a song that she sucks on. It was that turn your records on or whatever, put your records on. And when I heard it, I was like, seriously? And it was maybe a little bit better than the last time, but it still sucks. And wow, I mean... To me, that's lazy. Maybe there was a really good reason or story behind why she did that same song again. Maybe. If so, I apologize. But otherwise, I think that's lazy. So Jessie, who I had liked earlier in the season, came out with Zombie by the Cranberries. I thought she did a pretty decent job with this song, but she can't really hold a candle to Matt and Craig and Chris. Just She just can't. So I don't see her taking that fourth spot. Um, next was Ryan with Marry Me. I thought it was one of the weaker performances he's had. There were parts that were just super rough pretty much through the whole song. Now near the end he seemed to get more comfortable and like started hitting correct notes. But that was a little bit too late, Ryan. Um, just not that great from you. Alright, and then I thought Anita probably had her best performance with Waiting for the World to Change. Um, I loved the reggae twist on this. I think it really worked on this song. Some of the songs she tried to do it on was like a stretch, but I thought this one really worked. She looked comfortable. She had a great stage presence. Adam said it was her best performance of the show, and I can agree with that. So I love the song Wicked Game. Any of you who watch AGT know that Sons of Serendip performed that song, and I was flipping out because it was so good. So when I heard that Taylor was going to sing it, I had really high hopes, and he didn't let me down. I thought this was one of his best performances. I thought it was the second best performance of the night. I just thought it was really, 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 really good. And I think that, you know, he may possibly have a shot at that fourth spot. However, I don't think he'll take the fourth spot, but I thought it was really a tremendous job by him. All right, so Damien chose a song which I really didn't feel like did him justice. He chose a Bruno Mars song. So, like, after we're following up from Chris's performance last night, which was great with a Bruno Mars song, um, Damien was singing Grenade. I just kept thinking about Chris, and I really think he should have picked, like, a more R&B song because that is, like, his genre. I'm not really sure what he was doing with that song. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't enough to get him in the fourth spot, in my opinion, and I feel bad for him, and I hope that he does get a record deal because I think that he is really good. Adam was like pushing for him really hard, but not sure if that's enough. I love Amy Winehouse, or loved Amy Winehouse. I love Back to Black. Love it. Such a like haunting song. Um, and I thought that Sugar did the best I've heard her do all season. Um, again, I don't think it's going to have her in the fourth spot. I was impressed with her. She looked like a professional. She just had it all together. And uh, I think Gwen said that, you know, it was just awesome. So I totally agree with that. Luke came out again. Never been a big fan of him. It wasn't bad. It wasn't amazing. It was kind of meh for me. So they definitely saved the best for last with Danica in the very last spot before the show went off. And I cannot live without her being in the top four. And I think that this performance has secured her spot. Unless we have like all the preteens voting like crazy for Ryan or something else like that. Because if we're going to go on talent alone, she totally deserves it. She killed it. She like brought the house down. It was just, it was perfection. So um, I gave all my votes to Danica because even before she performed, I felt like she deserved it. I felt like she was the most talented out of those who were left. And if she had done like a sucky job, I would have been like, nope, I probably would have voted for Taylor. But she was great. She was perfect. And I think 
if she doesn't get in the top four, it's like, it's not fair at all to her. But you never know, because sometimes it turns into like a popularity contest. So, who do you want to take that fourth spot? Let me know down below. Um, what did you think? Who was your fave from tonight? Did you think anyone was not very good like I did? Or do you think some people were awesome? Or do you disagree with me? I respond to everyone's comments. So, I can't wait to hear from you. And thanks again for watching this episode of Kelly TV. And I will see you next time.